Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome if you are new. Olivia here with Olivia's Romantic Co. And in today's video, I cannot wait to share with you six DIY Dollar Tree French farmhouse chic decor crafts. So this is another episode of my huge I Love Spring series. I love to share with you all how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a teeny tiny budget. So if you guys are new, welcome. I'm Olivia with Olivia's Romantic Home and I do a ton of crafty decor projects on a budget. So if you love that, definitely consider subscribing. I would love to have you. But without further ado, go ahead and plug in your glue guns, get out your glitter and paint, and let's get to crafting. I found this potted fern on the Pottery Barn website. It was $69 and I just knew we could duplicate it using Dollar Tree supplies. So for the first Dollar Tree DIY, I'm just taking this plastic garden planter. It is in kind of a beige-ish taupe color and I I found this one at the Dollar Tree and I'm going to go ahead and take some of the Waverly white chalk paint. I get my chalk paint at Walmart. Um, I love the Waverly brand. It works so super well. And so I'm just going to go ahead and chalk paint my little planter. I am going to only use one coat because I do want a little bit of the basket weave and brown to show through. Once I have my planner all chalk painted, I'm going in with some of the Waverly Antique Wax and I got a generous dollop and I'm just going to rub that all over my little planter and I will tell you that it's fairly forgiving the waxes so if you get too much on, you can just go ahead and wipe some of it off. Now for me, I am going for a French farmhouse chic look with this planter. The Pottery Barn website did show a clay pot which would be nice as well. I know they do sell clay pots at Walmart but again, I wanted to use a budget friendly items from the Dollar Tree and so I just went ahead and went with this and plus I've already done one in a similar fashion I want this to kind of match the other one that I did and then I'm taking some floral foam I put the floral foam in the center and lesson learned it did not hot glue like I wanted to to the size of the pot and so I'm taking some of these paper um, this was just some paper left over from some shopping and I'm just going in and around my little planter and that secure my floral foam in there absolutely perfectly now I did buy a bundle of fern branches from Walmart I believe they're between three and five dollars and I do have a couple of the actual branches clipped off so I put one bundle in the center and then the branches that I clipped off from this bundle um, I'm just going to go in and around the larger bundle so it's only going to take one bundle um, now if you wanted a super huge one you could buy two bundles but I felt like one was sufficient enough for the size of my planter and also clipping some of the fern pieces off did give me a little bit um, more ability to kind of fan them out a bit now if you have cats that might get into your little faux fern you may want to leave them all in one bundle and I hope that makes sense for you guys now that I have it all finished up I wanted to go in with a bit of burlap fabric in and around where the paper is I wanted to hide that you could also use some excelsior grass or moss or whatever you have on hand to kind of make your plant look a little bit more realistic um, which I'm not super worried about this it was definitely on a budget which I'm absolutely loving so play with your bits of uh, burlap until you get in there just perfectly and then I did give my fern some fluffing and here is how it looks in my little French farmhouse chic garden setup I think it is looking perfect and I think it is a nice pop of greenery I think it will pop perfectly into a tablescape or I'm probably going to use it next to my fireplace, my faux fireplace in my home. I am so ready for spring. Comment and let me know if you guys are there with me. For the next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to take this Every Bunny Welcome sign and a dab of this beautiful Bordeaux. It's Arteza craft paint, but honestly, you guys could use any craft paint. They sent it to me free in the mail, so I thought, why not go ahead and use this? You can find craft paint at Walmart for about 48 cents. Um, you can also sometimes find craft paint at your local Dollar Tree, depending upon where you're shopping. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to 
you paint the bunny part of this sign in this pretty brown and then I'm also going to paint the scrolly lettering but I feel like the rest of the sign is absolutely perfect I think a lot of the Dollar Tree signs are adorable um, I did I do love pink and I do love sparkly things but for this French farmhouse chic look that I'm going for I wanted to calm down a little bit of the hot pink on this sign So here is how my every bunny welcome the sign is mixing in with my little garden display here. I really feel like to bring spring into your home, it is so fun to add some touches of greenery and some pops of whatever spring color that you absolutely adore. But I feel like also I love this little every bunny welcome sign. It just brings a cheerful smile to my face. It adds in that hint of Easter and just welcoming my guests to my home. I think I'm going to pop it outside of my front door will be the perfect spot so I will definitely show you guys where I plan to put that it is raining and cold today so not today so for the next Dollar Tree DIY I'm going to take this 2x ultra coverage with primer spray paint it's in a gold color and I'm basically using this because this is what I have on hand you if you guys know me by now I really try to use what I already have but I gave it one coat of spray paint and then I'm going to go in with just a dusting of chalk paint so you guys could see that I kind of dabbed my paintbrush off so I this is what I kind of call dry brushing where you get a little bit of paint on your brush and then you dab it off that way you can kind of give this dry brush effect I'm gonna add layer and layer and layer of paint colors and wax I really want this to make it look like it is an old garden planter that has been setting outside and that's even got some you know moss and just some weathered age look so I added first a coat of white paint and then I'm going in with the Waverly wax and I'm just kind of moving that in and around the little garden planter and then I decided that I needed a little bit more of an aged look as well so I added in some more of the wax and a good way to age something is to add the wax in and around the parts that are the edges so where you would be picking something up or where you'd expect to have that normal wear and tear Now I'm going in with some green craft paint. One of my subscribers had suggested that I used a little bit of green on my pots and some different goodies like that. So I added in some green and then I'm gonna temper that with some more of the aged wax and some more of the white paint. And then I did go back in with my rag and I smoothed some of that out, out so you could still see the gold underneath. And I think it fits oh so perfectly in with my French farmhouse chic decor and who would know that this was a little um, watering can from the Dollar Tree so fun and fabulous and of course you all can always paint this a solid color you could add a graphic to the outside which I actually thought about doing I didn't have time today to do that but definitely next time I sure might so for the next Dollar Tree DIY I'm gonna take and I just spray painted one of the little Dollar Tree garden tins white and then I'm using this lavender from Walmart now this tall lavender is three dollars per bundle but I think it's totally worth it because it's really going to give this arrangement some dimension and then I'm going in with a Dollar Tree fern I'm going to pop that into the back so I always try to use the taller parts of my display and florals kind of to the center and the back and then the ferns I'm using kind of to the side and then I'm going in with some Dollar Tree little green hydrangeas and I'm just going to pop those in for some pops of color again 
again, I want this to have an English garden springtime French farmhouse look. So I want it to be a little bit wild, kind of that wild garden look. Um, and then I found these little purple hydrangeas at a garage sale. I believe originally they came from Hobby Lobby. They're absolutely beautiful. And I really love using purple during springtime. Um, if you all noticed in the beginning of my video, I had some purple flowers. Those are actually in my backyard. And I'm going to give you guys another close up of those um, towards the end of this video. But I have this beautiful purple ground cover in my backyard that just makes it look so beautiful in the springtime. So I'm continuing to add in some more beautiful florals as I work. And again, I didn't buy any of these florals. I just had pretty much all of these on hand. So use what you have. And this floral is going to go into my bike. I have a bike in my front yard um, that I love to do a beautiful garden display. So I will share with you guys how my bike is looking again once it stops raining and warms up just a bit. Hold you in my arms, won't let go. The world around could pass us by a thunderstorm, a lightning strike as we hold each other. And here is how my beautiful French garden um, farmhouse little planter tin is looking. I did get the French one for this video. They also sell the garden planter at Dollar Tree and the English version, but I thought since this is a French farmhouse chic video, it would be perfect. And I just love how full and gardeny it feels. I also add in a little bit of the white Dollar Tree um, florals as well and then I just added these pretty little Dollar Tree candles and also I want to let you guys know that the Target Dollar Spot has this little two-tiered um, tray that you guys see the one with the bunnies on it they have that at Target for five dollars which I thought was a steal of a deal I'm probably going to end up using this inside in a centerpiece or a tablescape or maybe even by my little coffee maker but I just had to share that with you guys as well so for the next Dollar tree DIY I'm going to take this little bunny banner and I'm going to take it apart and pop the little bunny tails off now don't panic they will be going back on the little bunny bottoms I did go ahead and chalk paint this bunny I thought I was going to do something different with it but I decided to cover it with this striped fabric this to me really screams French farmhouse you can get this ticking fabric at Walmart fairly inexpensively and I'm just going to cut the bit of fabric to fit the size of the bunny and then I'm just going to hop glue in and around the edge of the bunny and so that's going to give me this really cute little kind of French farmhouse chic bunny. Now just hot glue small sections. I did have to end up going back in because I hot glued too big of a section. Comment and let me know if that ever happens to you and you end up having to redo your work because you're not working quite fast enough. It seems like with the fabric it does dry very quickly so you just have to be careful. Also press your fabric down really well that way it'll stick nice and good. Um, but I could have skipped painting the bunny had I known I was going to use this color of fabric originally. I thought I was going to use a lighter fabric that the bunny color was going to show through. So once you get your little bunny fabric all glued on, you can take your scissors and just carefully trim in and around the edge of your bunny. It would even be super cute to edge it with a bit of lace. So I popped the little bunny butt tail back on and there she is, all fabulous French farmhouse chic. And I popped her in to the top part of my little little um, two-tiered tray over there. I love this. It's just so cute and fabulous and the greenery and the flowers and the little bunnies just make my heart sparkle and shine and make me feel so so ready for spring. In fact I don't know where you all live but where I live 
we have little baby bunnies um, that pop in and out of our yard. So, and my daughter just has a thing for bunnies. She has a little old fashioned bunny that she's had for years that she calls Pretty Bunny. So, so fun. So for the next Adele Tree DIY, I'm taking um, a chicken can. This was actually from the recipe that I shared with you all in the last video. We made chicken salad. So definitely go check that video out. It also had a bunch of DIYs in it, but I'm trying to share with you guys some recipes here and there. But I'm just going to take my little chicken tin that I cleaned out really well, and I'm going to add some burlap fabric in and around the chicken tin. You can find burlap fabric at burlapfabric.com or Walmart or even your Dollar Tree. And you could also even use some brown fabric or just whatever little bits and bobs you have on hand. Now I'm going to add some hot glue to the inside of my little chicken can. And what I want to make here is a DIY little bird's nest. And then I went outside and I found this just dried um, stuff that I really am probably going to need to weed outside. Um, and so I just brought that inside and wrapped it around my little tin. And then I took a piece of wire and this is just floral wire that I found at the Dollar Tree. I wrapped the floral wire around it. You could also use some old leaves or just some sticks from your yard if you have those available or a Celsius grass um, from Dollar Tree would also work if you don't have access to this dried bits of um, leaves. And so I'm adding in a little bit of burlap fabric into the center of this and look at how fast we build a wonderful little springtime bird's nest. I'm absolutely in love with this project. So here it all is popped in together, making this beautiful French farmhouse chic garden display. I am definitely going to replicate this inside my home. This is actually my little crafting studio, which is a little corner in my garage. I had somebody ask me the mantle that's in my home is also very similar to the mantle that my husband built in my crafting studio in my garage. So if you guys want to know how to build those mantles, definitely check out those videos as well. Um, but I am so in love with this springtime goodness. And I asked my daughter while I was painting the interior of my house to pop outside and get some footage of you all for um from my garden and so this is just my backyard with the little purple flowers it was actually a really nice day yesterday before it turned cold and rainy on us again so she had a lot of fun just taking this footage for you all and let me tell you she is one talented lady i love the close-ups that she got and then i also have my little yellow flowers blooming in my front yard look at what a great job she did getting this footage and i really thought this would bring you some hope and cheer into your day to see what's going on with spring. I feel like spring is such a time of hope. No matter where you're at and what you're going through in your life right now, try to always look forward to the future with hope and not fear or worry. Um, just know that God has got you. So always I ask you comment and let me know what is your favorite DIY in this video and which one will you be recreating? Thank you for spending time with me. It is a true blessing and an honor and I love y'all. So thank you all so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous crafty decor adventure. It is such a true blessing and an honor to have you all here to watch my videos. Again, this is episode 16 in my huge I Love Spring series. I just love to share with you all how you can have a fabulous, amazing home on a budget. Definitely go check out the rest of the I Love Spring series. I'm going to leave the playlist for you in the description box of this video down below. So click on that and get totally inspired to be decorating for spring, Easter, and just some fun and wonderful projects you guys can do on a budget. For everybody that comes back and loves on me and that comments and watches my videos, I want you all to know how thankful I am to have you here. And I just want to hug all of your hearts so tight. You all just make my heart sparkle and shine. And I am so blessed and honored to have you all here. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. If you all would like to make friends and connect with some other crafty decor individuals, I have an Olivia's Romantic Home Facebook group page. It's totally free to join. And 
And what happens over there is everybody just posts pictures of their DIY projects and their home decor, and it's an uplifting, motivated community for everybody to share their crafts no matter what level that you're at. So don't be afraid to share. Everybody over there is so kind and encouraging. So I just welcome you to that group, and I just want to thank everybody that's in that group for all of your beautiful posts. You guys are so inspired to me, and I love how everybody loves on each other over there. So definitely check that out. I also have a Lavie's Romantic Home Instagram page. If you guys want to wake up with me every morning, I share a good morning coffee with you on my story. I just love to share encouraging, motivating things, as well as condensed videos of some idea DIY projects and um, just my crazy crafty mama life behind the scenes with my kiddos and my hubs. So all of that fun stuff. So thank you guys again for being here. I hope this video is encouraging you to look forward to the future with hope and joy in your hearts and just give you guys a place always and on my channel to relax and unwind and take all of the stress out of your life for just this moment and have fun with my videos and crafting and decorating. So I want to encourage you guys to keep up the good work. I love you dearly to the moon and back and I'm praying for each and every one of you guys. Um, I just want to hug your hearts again. Remember, be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another. And until the next video, we will talk to you later. Bye-bye. And I've come out here to say